Look at that, guys. 96% done this game. That's probably the craziest thing about this. Is I'm like this close to finishing the game. Except it's going to take so dang long to finish 100%ing this game. Anyways, I did a couple of things off screen. Um, as you can see, I got the missing apple in night crawling off screen because we know where it is we found the last apple it was inside that bat so i just went in and replayed the level and got all the got the apple haunted boardwalk is complete the only level i haven't completed is ghost by you yet by the way look at that time trial 642 that is a really generous time trial another thing i did off screen I 100% a yellow pack marine. I know, it's crazy. So, I didn't really want to show this level to everybody again because it takes like 10 minutes per run through. You guys understand, like, you guys understand, it just takes a long time. So, I'll tell you how I got it. So, to get 100% in this level, it's actually not as hard as I thought once I learned how it works. So, cherries will always spawn inside of bombs. There's not a there's not a finite number of cherries in the level, like I thought there was. Basically, like every five mines or so, a cherry will spawn. And if you just keep shooting at mines, you'll get like all the cherries like 70% of the way through the level, which is pretty generous. And to get the five oranges, you have to kill the ghosts in the submarines. If you kill them, uh, you get oranges. And the apples are placed randomly next to pipes throughout the level, so they're pretty easy to come by. So, I was able to 100% this level. The tokens, on the other hand, are a different story. I had to do three playthroughs of this level to get all the tokens, because they just did not want to show up. So I did one playthrough. I got, like, seven tokens or something out of eight. So I had to do another playthrough to get the, the eighth and final token. So I finally have all of them, which brings our total token count up to 178, which means there are 11 left for us to collect. One of them is which is that stupid time trial that we have to do. Uh, we have to get the time trial, bonus token, and the missing token in this level. That's gonna be fun. This one, I just have to do the time trial, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, Magma Opus, I got the missing token off screen. It turns out, the miss, the token I missed, is, it's really weird. You kind of have to do two playthroughs of this all to get all the tokens. Unless you do, a, like, a very specific exploit. The token was on one of the paths at the very end that I didn't take. So I went down there, and the token was just sitting there, and I grabbed it. So that, all that leaves for this level is the time trial. For this level, we just need the time trial. Same for this level. So all, the, all of the lava levels are just time trials that we need. And this level, I got the time trial off screen. Because you basically saw me got it, and I got a 58 second time. So all that's left in this level is to get every uh, item, which I'm going to try and do. So, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We could try and take our time. I mean, honestly, the only really hard part about this level is going to be getting all the pack dots. That's the only thing I'm really worried about. Because if you miss one, you have to slowly inch your way back up and get them. Which is really annoying. So, ideally... To get, all, to get everything, you want to just do, like, a nice, gentle, slow run of this level. And that's how you can guarantee you get all of them. At least in some of the sections, you can do that. Later in the level, you can't do that. Also, also apparently, there's an orange uh, somewhere in this level. I forget where it is. So this is the safe this is the safest way I know to get all the pack dots and fruits without um missing any. So yes, it will take longer, but it is safe and reliable and we won't miss anything. 
Okay, for this part... We need to, um... I don't know if we can go back, though. Yeah, we cannot go back. So if you miss one, you have to... You just have to reset. Actually, I'm not mistaken. Isn't there, like, an orange in this? Yeah, there's an orange in here. Oh, well. So we're gonna redo that. <laughs> This is what I kind of worried about when doing this level, is I was worried I would, um, miss... Like, I would miss the pack dots. Which is what I, like, again, that's what I'm most worried about. Okay, there we go. Well, and also, I have to get this orange, too. I th isn't there like something over here? Or is this a, just a is, or is this just a token? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, that is really annoying. <laughs> Actually, I think you could. Can't you butt bounce? No, you can't. That's extra life. Okay. That is also pretty janky, I gotta say. Okay, so it's been decent so far, honestly. I'm just kind of worried, because there's not a lot of checkpoints in this level, so if I miss any, I have to redo it. Yo, I don't think this level's gonna be annoying. This honestly isn't that bad, really. By the way, I, I remember when I was talking about how this game reuses a lot of, um, enemies? Oh, hold up. <laughs> hey, Zeppy. Forgot to put the chat box in the right spot again. So remember how I said there, there was a bunch of enemies reused from Pac-Man World 1? I forgot the Caveman enemies. The caveman enemies are also reused from that game. I missed the token. Oops. <laughs> you, and, you and Jose have been having fun on trash recently, it seems like. Because, yeah, I did teach Jose how to mod Smash Ultimate. <laughs> none, of my, not, none of my friends are safe from the Smash Ultimate modding scene. <laughs> So far, so good. That's an apple, so we need that. Well, let me get a better angle for this. I don't know what's in there. I don't know if that's an app. I kind of want to know what that is. <laughs> he kept spiking him, yeah. That is that is particularly funny. I don't remember if that's a fruit or a or a one-up though. That's the thing. I gotta find that out. That's a one-up. This is an apple, I know this. I know that. Oh, yeah, that's a one-up. The next one's an apple. Yeah, we need that one. Oh, you can't miss any of these. You can't miss any of these. That's, that's why you gotta be careful. I'm going to assume that's a one-up. I don't know what that is either. Fuck. How many tokens I have? Uh, 178. There's 189. It's just the last, like, 
10 to 15 or so tokens are like a bitch to get. <laughs> Which is why I never 100 percent this game as a kid, because these are like the worst ones to go for. This level is one of them. But if I can beat this level, then I'll have 100% of the first three worlds of the game. The thing is, the pack dots, the pack dots hitboxes are kind of shitty, so it's pretty easy to miss them <laughs> like that. And also, Pac-Man just doesn't want to get momentum sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's an extra life. I don't know. I kind of want to just, like, test it out and make sure. There. You know what I'll do? I need to get better at going fast. Or you could die. Yeah, this is one of the less good levels. But I don't know. Despite how much I love this game, I like I, I keep saying most half like half the levels in this game suck. <laughs> it's just this is kind of a game with really high highs and really low lows. Which ha it happens. Alright, so I'm not, this is not going to be the successful attempt. I just want to see what's in those boxes because I don't remember. That way I'll know. That, that way I'll know if I have to go for them or not. You know, because these are the last boxes in the level. So that's an apple. That's a life. So we don't have to go for that one. And what's this one? Is this one also a life? Well, we got all the apples, so I'm assuming I'm assuming there's nothing in there. Yeah, so we can probably skip that box. But yeah, I I never really read the instructions for this level, but yeah, it even says it, it even says in the level introduction that like if you hold up, you keep max speed. Which makes the time trial a lot easier if you actually read that information. Okay. I missed the frickin' pack dot again. I had a bad angle again, that's the thing. And now I just have to get to the damn checkpoint and get all the pack dots. That's, this, is like, this is probably the hardest part of the level, honestly. This part right here. And that's why I wanted to dedicate a, an entire stream to some of these really annoying levels. <laughs> the great thing is that we're not losing lives, we're actually gaining lives every time we die. Okay, we should go up here and get like a better angle. I don't even need that life, but I'm going for it anyways. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Let's get a good angle here. Let's get some of these pack dots to make it easier. You can, you can kind of go. You can kind of go backwards if you um, skate really well. I've never, I've never seen this all backwards before. That is really weird, really strange indeed. Oh my god! Oh no, oh, Pac-Man, bro! Why the fuck did he slip, dude? That decked me over. Ah. <sighs> Once I can get to the checkpoint, that'll be like the easy part. Well, actually, I don't know what's in that box, because isn't there a melon in this level somewhere, too? What if the melon is in there? Have I even gotten the melon in this level before? I missed the frickin' pack dot again. 
<laughs> your, your laptop can't run Smash? I mean, it's a laptop. I didn't expect it to. <laughs> it'll run it be It'll run it better than your old laptop, though. Most you could do is probably run Brawl. <laughs> Actually, what is the frame average frame rate for your laptop on on Ultimate? So like it's gonna be a weird number, like forty or something. <laughs> All right, let's just get let's just get some of these pack dots. No, oh, Pac-Man, come back, Pac-Man, come back. Fuck. <laughs> you forgot. Fair enough. <laughs> I need to know what's in that box. If I don't find that, I'm gonna... It's gonna risk me 100%ing this level or not. Because ideally, when you play this level, you'd want to get some nice straight lines, but straight lines aren't always possible. Because the pack dots are in, like, a weird curve arc. <laughs> which makes it really annoying to get all of them. This is perfect. We got, like, just the right angle. The melon is in there, so we have to get that box. We have to get that box. 100% this level. Fuck me, dude. Why is that, like, the hardest box in the whole level to get to? By the way, I spent, like, a couple hours yesterday just watching, um revisional differences and like beta content for this game and there is a surprising amount of crap that is just not even used in this game for example pac-man has an unused punching animation which would later get would, which would later get used in pac-man world 3 of all things <laughs> which yes that is half the reason i want to play pac-man world 3 is because Pac-Man can just beat the shit out of people in that game. <laughs> and it's really funny. Funny. Oh, we gotta get that pack thought. Alright, let's get some of these pack dots to make this a little easier. Thing is, you can't change the camera, so it makes this section a lot worse. Alright. Let's get ready. I missed it again, bro! I mean, like, that's the safer thing, but ideally, it'd, probably, it'd just be better to get have as much speed as possible, and then just get everything in one go, but... I don't know, it's just... I don't like that. I don't like doing that, because I'm way more likely to miss it. But on the bright side, I'm never going to run out of lives. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. See why- you see why I don't go fast? Because that happens. Even the level knows that's the worst part, because it puts it in the frickin' title card. <laughs> Even the title card knows that's like the worst part of the level. Oh, I missed it again. I knew this level would take a while. I, I did 100% this level before. It's possible, it's just annoying. <laughs> Like once we get in the cave, that's good. that's like the worst part's gonna be the worst part's gonna be over, honestly.
Yeah, like, you can get just enough speed to make that gap if you go slow. Like, as long as you build up speed at, like, the last second, you can usually make it. It's just for this one, you really have to build up the speed properly. Alright. I kind of want the camera behind Pac-Man, but alright, whatever. How far do I have to go up back up before I can feel comfortable doing this? Because I need to build up speed. Also, how far can Pac-Man go back up? Alright, here we go. I got it, I got it. I got the melon. Okay, that's the hard part. The hard part's over. Now we can just chill in this cave. Because <laughs> you need that melon to get the Galaxian at the end. Which, by the way, apparently they're called Gala Boss? <laughs> Or something weird like that. They're not called the Galaxians. At least that's what the wiki says. Look at all these fruits I'm getting. Well, and I didn't miss any of the pack dots, so... Could be getting all of them in a sec here. Oh, I missed one. I missed one. Hold up. Gotta go back. <laughs> I cannot get back up there. Well, fuck that. Pro tip, don't fucking miss any pack dots. <laughs> This is why I go slow, because you, you, ha you have to be extremely precise and not miss any. And no holding back does not help. <laughs> it doesn't actually do anything. You're on rails the entire time. No, so I could be wrong, but I think there's some pack dots at the end too, right? Possibly. There, here's the pack that I missed last time. <laughs> Got all the cherries. Got all the strawberries. Not all the pack dots, though. I think there's a few more still. Oh, the, the, the jump is coming up soon. We gotta get ready for that. Ooh. There we go. By the way, do I, st do I still have the fog turned off? <laughs> I think I do. Yeah, I do. I have- I had fog disabled this entire time. Anyways, this is the last collectible of the level. <laughs> and it looks like this. Oh, you're actually on the skates too, that is really cool. You actually get to ice skate in this maze. Also, apparently you can change the view. I forget how. How do you do that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I never knew you could do this. You can zoom out the maze. Give you a better uh, FOV. Yeah, you can actually make it top down like a proper Pac Man maze. Gives you the best odds, too.
Yeah, the, the music in this game is still just as legendary all these years later. This music never ages. <laughs> All right, piss off, Inky. By the way, I did rewatch the opening cutscene last night, <laughs> and I forgot how like stupid the ghosts are in that opening. <laughs> like they're just they're just fucking around and getting like scared by dumb crap. Ugh, this is annoying. Okay, here we go. It's impressive they're able to render all of this at once, though. <laughs> well, for a GameCube game, anyway. Okay, so I think we got everything. That should be everything. I got all the apples, all the orange. I got everything. That's one thing I, th I wish this game had is like, a, like, hey, you got everything pop up or something. You just kind of have to hope you got it. Yep. Okay. So the winter world is complete. So now all we got to do is time trial the lava levels, time trial the water levels, and time trial ghost by you, I think. I'm pretty sure that's it. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try this out. Oh yes, yeah, so apparently you can um you can rev roll this. Fuck! I was watching a time trial of this level, and it's amazing how fast you can go and how many skips you can do. I was able to skip this before. I don't know why I had so much trouble. Oh yeah, you can also do that. <laughs> you can do that skip. And you can also do this. So that's enough. That's a pretty big skip that helps. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. I'm not gonna do every speedrun strat, but I'm gonna do most of them. Or, well, not most. I'm gonna do a couple that'll help make this time trial a little easier. You need to get a 222 in this, so... Whoops. <laughs> yeah, that is very efficient. Like, just ignore the cycle, just go for it. That's the only way you'll make it. And then, that's the other level right there. We need a 222, and we got like a 150. So this one's gonna be pretty simple to get, I think. So yeah, that level... Got pretty good at it. It's not too bad anymore. So yeah, 156 now. So that brings our total token count up to 180. Which is pretty damn nice, I gotta say. Next up, we gotta get the time trial on Volcanic Panic, which is a 348. So I need to remember that's a 348.
By the way, one thing I didn't know is you can roll into, um, you can roll into boxes and actually break them faster, apparently. Which is way faster than butt bouncing. And yes, this, by the way, I don't know if I ever brought that up, but this game is the reason I call the ground pound, I called the ground pound in Mario the butt bounce for the longest time. <laughs> because of this game. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, there we go. So far, so good. Yeah, time trialing these longer levels gets a bit scary because of how, like... Like, you're gonna fuck up. Oh, hey, thanks. Thanks for pushing me, buddy. <laughs> thanks for pushing me in the cutscene. I think it is faster to take the metal power up. Then take the power pellet. I, I, yeah, I mean, I could be wrong, but it just feels faster, you know? Alright, fine, I'll wait this out. I love this janky-ass platform. Oh, oh, okay. Ground pounding just fucking kills you, apparently. That's especially great. Oh, well, we can do it a little faster than this time. Hey, 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 don't stutter like that, game. Come on. Yeah, it's a shame how janky shit it can be sometimes. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Careful now. And yes, I wasn't crazy. The uh, metal bat, the metal power up, is actually a lighter shade in the PS2 version. Now, apparently, a lot of the changes that I noted are mostly just the case for the um, the PS2 or PS2 version versus the GameCube version, and not actually um, the uh, what you call it. Not the case for the. Ah, fuck, I'm, like, me mixing up my words. The GameCube version is the is the one that made a bunch of random changes. Not the, uh, revisional differences. S supposedly. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to wait a long-ass cycle here. Unless I can, like, tilt this platform a certain way. Yeah, thanks for pushing me again. Yeah, so those caveman dudes are um, in the, like, ruins worlds of, um, Pac-Man World 1. I kind of forgot those guys are in that game, too. <laughs> 
So that's one thing my dumb ass forgot about. All right, ignore these boxes. They're not worth the time. Come on, make that cycle, please, please, please. Why does that always happen, bro? I hate that. I don't even know if I can make this. My power is going to run out before I can even get there. Or not. Or I can actually just get over there. So that's one way to do that, I guess. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Kind of reminds me of Skullface saying who. Well, Pac-Man says it too when he gets hit. It's like, whoo! Like, it kind of sounds like, um... Yeah, you know what it kind of sounds like? It kind of sounds like, um... Fuck. <laughs> it sounds like fuck, yeah. Alright. Well, as long as there's no more bullshit, we should be fine. So what was the time for this? Like three minutes or something? Yes, Metal Pac-Man. Alright, so now we just gotta speed run this part. Got it. I don't know what the- See, the thing is, it doesn't tell you what the original record was. It just says, oh, you beat it or you didn't. <laughs> Well, either way, it's a 306 now, which brings our token count up to 181. So now we gotta do Magma Opus, which surprisingly has a much shorter time trial at 217. <laughs> but that also means you gotta be a lot quicker. Oops, well, I jumped into the lava. Don't do that. So I might split the I might split these up into two into two episodes. The um Oh yeah, right. Don't forget that your hit you can increase your hitbox size by uh, ground pounding. Well I'm calling it the ground pound, not the butt bounce. <laughs> so yeah, ground pounding helps because it makes your hitbox bigger. Well, you can also die. You gotta stop doing that, bro. Come on. <laughs> Not optimal so far. Watch out for the, those damn spiders. So this part is kind of luck based actually, this this upcoming part. You gotta not get hit by this guy. If you get hit by him too much, it fucks up your whole run. And also you can just decide to shimmy too much. <laughs> Pac-Man can't drink the orange Kool-Aid. He's allergic to Kool-Aid. I thought we went over this. We didn't go over this. Alright, so now that brings up another platform. Uh, 45 seconds in, I'm already like... The timer's already ticking, man. Clocks are ticking. We gotta be quick, man. We gotta be faster than this. Thankfully, you can do this. Skip that section. Oh, 
Whoa, 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 watch out, watch what you're doing. Alright, so we gotta we gotta gotta wait here. Fuck off spider. Ig ignore me. This is where kind of this is kind of where some of the time losses happen, and I really cheated death there. Anyways, here's the here's like they put this part like right at the end of the fucking level too. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah, one fuck up. Means you have to redo the whole time trial. It's fucking awful. And that's half the reason I didn't want to do this level. This, this, because, um, this all has too much physic jank in it. <laughs> Miss the power up, bro. I don't know why this dude's hitbox is so big. <laughs> I'll give this a little, like, two or three attempts. If I can't get past that stupid slide part, I might have to save that for next time. The finale is just gonna be, like, whatever levels I didn't feel like playing today. <laughs> Pretty much. Love taking unnecessary- what? Okay, nah, fuck this level. I'm doing this one later. <laughs> I hate this one. Even though it's like only like two minutes long, it's still annoying. We'll save that for the finale then. Anyways, we're also going to do Scuba Duba. Which is a pretty precise, um... It's a pretty precise uh, time trial, because you have to get like damn well every clock. And I'm already cocking it up. I find it funny how Pac-Man doesn't have the flippers in the, uh, the title card. Stop in time. This is just a very mash heavy level. But also, you gotta manage your health too, which is kind of annoying. And you have to get the, um, you have to get the ghost. And you can also miss that box. And that timer. Oh boy. Ghost, come on. Don't get stuck. Bro, why are you getting stuck? Oh, dude. Um, that's just shady, man. I forgot. What is the what is the time? What is the timer at for this level? I need to check. 
The time trial says I need a 146. Okay. Yes, sniff. Ignore the sharks. They they slow you down. Don't hit the frickin' mines. They hurt. Same thing happened again. Oh! God damn, man. Why do I hit the same bullshit every time? Why is the claw gotta be right next to those damn eels? <laughs> yeah. Another important question is who the fuck are leaving these damn, uh... These damn, uh, fucking... Like, cans everywhere. Who literally? Who, who's liter literally littering? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fucking eels, bro. What the hell? <laughs> There's always they're in like the worst possible spot. I tell you what. All right, we got the good. We got the good cycle here. Missed the ghost, unfortunately. And another freaking mine. If I can get a 146 and beat this all, I'd be I'd be set really. Gotta be spamming the crap out of that B button. Although you can do a bunch of damage boosts with the mines, is the thing. I think I got it. Yep. I think, wasn't there like a 140? I got a 120. Hey, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> Way better than last time. Okay, so my question is, where's the missing mine in this level? Or missing token, rather. I mean, it doesn't matter because we have to, we haven't gotten all the fruits anyway. We could try and we could try and do this level, get the time trial on this one. Oops. I don't. 
think that shark has anything, but I gotta check. I need to know if he does. Alright, just just to, just because I wanna know, does he does not have a fruit. Okay, just making sure. Where could that last damn token be? That was what I want to know. Oh boy. I know one of these sharks has a strawberry, doesn't it? Or am I misremembering? That could just be me misremembering, honestly. You do not have a token. Whatever. Get the orange. I mean, this all isn't too bad to replay anyway, so I don't mind. <laughs> he goes for the sniff, and he misses. Well, I'm not too worried about the token. If I have to replay this again to get the other token, I wouldn't mind too much. Oh, you fucking bitch. Why are those damn missiles in such a bad spot? More importantly, why don't I have any hit points left? Yeah, I don't think the sharks have any health. But they don't have any items. You know, I mean, the reason why I think... You knew know, the reason I kept thinking they have strawberries is because the sharks give 300 points, which is the same as the strawberry. Which is very possible. I don't know how true that is, but it's definitely a possibility. Yeah, I don't know how to dodge that crap. Okay, we got all the, we got all the pack dots there. There's only like a hundred eleven or something. It's like a very small number. Oh yeah, and there's this chest over here. Which I think I got last time. Ooh, I want that cherry! Oh, Okay, you gotta kill me then. You gotta kill me, I missed the cherry! I missed it! Wait, what's in here? Okay. At least I know I don't have to go for that box on my next visit. Well, okay. So I gotta go for that cherry, then. It's kind of in an awkward spot, anyway. These pack dots are also really weird to get. Okay, so go over this way, get the cherry, and the apple. I wonder where that missing token is. I'm still not sure. Wasn't there something I need to get on this side? I think I got that treasure last time. power pellet here. Is this the token that I'm missing? No, I already got that one. Mm, if I die, it's not a big deal. Somehow I did not die there. about it myself. 
Okay, that's pretty normal. There's the Galaxian. I mean, I kind of want that because they give me an extra checkpoint. Oh, wow. <laughs> I kind of want, I kind of like this overhead view. It's not too zoomed out, but it's also not too zoomed in either. I'm not sure I'll take the melon. <laughs> Hashtag Inky is dumb. He saw Pac-Man and he ran away from him. This kind of reminds me of um, the Magma Opus map, actually. Or maybe, no, I think it was more like the Ghost Bayou map. There was one map where it had like a power pellet on the top for some reason. <laughs> yeah, Clyde's dumb. He just, he just runs away from you. <laughs> He does not pay Pac-Man any mind. Neither does Inky, really. Inky doesn't give a shit, either. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. We got the Galaxians. That is good. Well, it is called the Galaxian. Ooh, this is tight. What the hell? Yeah, another checkpoint. I might have to look up where that last Galaxian is, because I'm not too sure, honestly. Like, unless it's locked behind something. Yeah, I didn't find it. Did I get everything, though? Did I get all the items? Because if I got all the items, that's at least something. I missed a pack dot somewhere? What? How? How? How did I miss one? Okay, I need to look at where this fucking token is. Where the hell is it? Um... Yeah, pac and World 2, all token locations. So we'll be, we'll be faster, looking at a walkthrough or looking at, a, like, an actual video. Because I feel like the video will be a lot more... It'd be a lot easier if I watched the video, because I don't know for sure. I'll watch a video, and I'll, we'll, we'll, we gotta figure this shit out. Alright. So where is the shark attack token? That's, uh, that's Scuba Duba, I think. Okay, so next up is Shark Attack. Okay. So let me check. I'm gonna sit through this video real quick. We're gonna we're gonna find out where it is. So I'll be back. I'll meet you guys in a sec. Guys, I think I know where the last token is. I think I know where it is. And if I'm right, this is gonna be really stupid. How the fuck did you miss that cherry, bro? You'll you'll see in a sec. <laughs> which I guess means unfortunately we have to play through this fucking level again. That's which is annoying. Man, I swear you just cannot get hit by that shark no matter how hard you try. <laughs> Hey, you wanna know where it is? It's in here! How the fuck was I supposed to notice that? <laughs> yeah, it was in, it was like hidden inside the seaweed this whole time. I never noticed that. It just kind of blends in. So, we know where that is now at least. 
But unfortunately, it means we have to replay this level. So maybe maybe this time we can 100% it. Question is, how many pack dots am I supposed to have by the checkpoint? I'm supposed to have 43. I missed one, I think. I gotta get it again. <laughs> oh my god. So we need, we need to do like a pack dot check. You know, make sure I didn't miss any by accident. So if I don't have 43 pack dots by the checkpoint, then we're dicked over. Yeah, so those sharks do instantly kill you, but I've never gotten insta-killed by them before. I only got insta-killed by them as a kid. And I think I think when I was doing that, I was trying to get killed or something like that. Yeah, 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 do your, do your damage. There we go, I got 43 this time. I think save states are kind of fair when I'm replaying a level for like the third time. I might, just to speed this up a little bit. I know, the dreaded save states. Okay, so now how many pack dots do I need for the next checkpoint? Hmm... Well, actually, I think is I don't really know where the checkpoints are. <laughs> eh, well, we'll see, though. At the very least, I didn't miss any in the first section. Whoops, hold up. Don't, don't, don't miss the cherry, bro. There you go. Funny sharks. They look a lot, le a lot lower poly than I remember. Probably just, you know, because it's a GameCube game. I don't know why, but this is just a random thing that kind of popped into my mind. There's something really, like, archaic about, um... About, like, PS1 games. Okay, there's that checkpoint. I'm supposed to have 65 by this point, I think. So that's correct as well. Because I was I was looking at videos of Pac-Man World 1, and I'm like, man, th this game just feels really weird. <laughs> but in a good way. It's like a good kind of weird. And I really like it. And it's something that I don't think the um, remake is ever going to be able to match. That's just kind of the thing with old games in general. Like, when you remake an old game, no matter how, how well you remake it, some of that charm of the original is just gonna be lost. No matter what you do. Also, just to make sure, those boxes, do they have anything good in them? Because <laughs> there's, um, he gets the apple, and then he goes for that box. I'm just making sure that there's nothing in them because I don't know. <laughs> I forget. Okay, that's a f that's a life. And that's an apple. Oh, I need to I need to get that. Uh oh. Hold on. I'm gonna reload then. <laughs> I need to go to the left to get the apple. The game forces a split path on you. And if you go the wrong way, you're not 100%ing the level. So I wouldn't have 100%ed the level anyways, because I missed that apple last time. So wait, in the apple chest is another apple? <laughs> How backwards is that? That's very ass backwards. Nope. Fuck, I missed the apple again. I 
bro, I keep missing it. Why? Like, I keep... Tr I I'm trying not to go too far to the right. Yeah, because you get hit if you go a little too far to the right. Whatever, man. You can stop getting hit. Just, just die. Just die. So you can refill your health. Obviously, the speed run doesn't die, but that's besides the point. So, how many pack dots do I need for a level for the level completion? Oh yeah, we also have to get the Galaxian again, which is on. Kind of boring. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this out, actually. Alright, we're back. I got the Galaxian again. It's crazy how tight you have to be in here to get everything. Oh, I'm just glad I... Oh, no, 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 what are you doing, brother? Brother, brother, you gotta stop doing that, brother. You gotta stop. Come on, die. I'm, like, right at the end of the level, though, so... <laughs> We're, we're pretty close. Alright, don't, don't dash. Just get the remaining pack dots that you need. Under 11. Did I get everything? Are there three melons in this level? I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Yes, yeah, th there are three melons. Let me look at my totals. So I have um, ten cherries, seven strawberries, five oranges, five apples, three melons. Okay, so I do have everything. Good. So that takes care of that level, at least. Alright, so what's left is the time trial on that level, the time trial on this level, which, fuck no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and I could try the ghost, oh yeah, we gotta figure out where the last ghost bayou token is. The thing is, I don't know. <laughs> That's the problem. Because if I want to figure that out, I have to watch the entire, like, level. To figure it out. I mean, at least I got everything, though. <laughs> he dies in the, he dies in the hundred percent run. Still world record, though. Even though he dies. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to begin with this level. You know what? Let's just try and look for it ourselves. It'd be more interesting to just play the level. Also, by the way, in the PS2 version, there's an extra life here, and overlaps with the clock, which is kind of funny. So we gotta figure out where the missing token is. I have no idea where it is, which is why I'm going to find out. And also, playing this level again... Uh -oh. It can uh, give me some practice for, um... It can give me some practice for... The time trial. So I can find out what the optimal route is. Surprisingly, I didn't have much trouble doing this. Yeah, so it's not just me. This place is just naturally darker in the GameCube version, which is really strange. <laughs> I 
I had to up my brightness a lot when I played this as a kid. Well, like, I could. I could turn off the fog. But turning off the fog makes the level look bad. <laughs> so it's kind of a lose-lose situation, regardless. I know for a fact there's no token in this section. So we're fine there. By the way, I was thinking about modding more D-Party. Because I figured out where some of the textures for the game are stored. So I could potentially, um... Mod a D party some more. Oh, and by the way, there's like this bridge, it goes like down into the water in the PS2 version. But for some reason, it doesn't affect Pac Man in this version. I don't know why, though. Kind of weird. That is one of the more interesting and bizarre changes, I'd say. So we gotta figure out where the token is at. I can say for certainty it's not over here, though. Because I've been over here before. You can see the Galaxian over there. That's pretty cool. And as far as I know... Um... Also, I'm not going that route. I'm gonna go over here so I can skip that little pit there. Oh boy, time trialing this one's gonna be fun. Alright. Kinda kinda want like the top down view, you know? The top down view makes it a little bit easier. So that we are we already have that. The checkpoint reached. Tree. Whoops. Slowly getting pissed over a level. Oh yeah, that's that's true. This game is kind of designed to piss you off if you try to go for 100%, though. By the way, this is the game that introduced me to the theremin. But it, I didn't know until like a year or two ago on what a theremin is. <laughs> or what the name of that instrument is. And I was like, huh, that's the instrument that they use a shit ton in Pac-Man World 2. And I was like, that's what a ther- that's what it's called? It's called a theremin? <laughs> and that's kind of the- that's the instrument you hear in like a lot of horror movies and shit. Where it's like, woo woo! It makes like a- it's kind of a whistling noise. And another thing, if I remember correctly, is... I believe the theremin is an instrument that is played, like, by... How do I describe it? Like, it plays inch, it plays noise when you cover your cover the holes with your fingers or something, something like that. Or maybe it's the opposite. <laughs> Look at this funny ghost. And can I just, can, hang on, let me do something funny. He kinda, he kinda got stuck. This is, this is my face right now. <laughs> also, I've always wondered if... If these ghosts are the exact same ones that are found throughout the rest of the game, and if it's just, like, the shading that's making them look like a weird color. Because... They have, like, green gloves. It looks, it, it looks green because of the lighting. New emote? Is this? <laughs> Honestly, that's not a bad idea. That's kind of a funny idea for an emote. Yeah, the draw distance in this game. Like, Pac-Man is like... He's like kind of away. He like approaches. What? Bro broke. Dude, he's broken. What the fuck? What happened? Bro, what happened to you? Are you okay? <laughs> he's fine now. <laughs> he, he had to think about it for a little while. <laughs> Bro had to think about his his personal emotional state. The skeletons are fine. 
There's the Galaxian again. Alright. Once again, I proceed to absolutely break the level design in two. Without even trying. I'm just trying to figure out where this fucking Galaxian is, because I don't know. I haven't heard it. All I hear is crickets. I don't want to hear crickets, but I want to hear tokens. Yeah, it's all hopeless. I don't know where the fuck that token is at. I haven't heard hair or shit of it in, like, years. Well, see, I don't even know if I 100 percent this level as a kid. <laughs> he got, he got, uh, Zawada Dode. Oh, here's this checkpoint again, by the way. This one that I keep accidentally finding in the wrong order. Because you're supposed to, you're supposed to hit this switch, and it makes, like, another thing activate in the level. Also, the fog kind of wore off a bit. I believe that- oh, that- you can see the start of the level over there, by the way. <laughs> right there, that's the start of the level, right there. So, we know where the edge of- we know where the boundary of the level is. Finding the token- there it is, there's the token. I found it. Okay. Now we just gotta go find the exit of the level. <laughs> that wasn't that hard to find, it's just a, pl you know, a place that I missed. Because I don't think I found that on my first playthrough. So that makes, um, that. Oh wait, here's another checkpoint over here. Oh yeah, if I remember correctly, I think this is actually how you get to the end of the level. So, you go over this way. The question is, can you rev roll? You can rev roll there. And then you need to jump on this, rev roll again, hit this button, and then you go to the end of the level. I don't know why the fog decided to wear off, that's kind of weird. So, I'm learning, I'm learning the layout of this level. It's not too bad, honestly. Oh! My tree! And I love how he just fecks off. Alright, that's the level. So now we have... 184? 83? I don't know. 185! Bro, that's only four more tokens left in this game. So the time... Okay, so let me think about this. We need the time trial on this level. We need the time trial on, um... This level. The time trial on Shark Attack, and the time trial on Magma Opus. So... Just four levels left. Alright, so... Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to finish this game today. I know it'll take, like, another hour or two to do so, but I would like to get it done. Now, here's a problem. Yellow Pack Marine is gonna be a bitch, because we have to get a 714, which also means doing a no-damage run of this level, which is not fun. This is one of the level- this is one of the things that kept me from 100 percent this game. I- I just can't believe they got a- like... I cannot- I'm just amazed that they thought this was okay. <laughs> what made them think 7 minutes and 14 seconds for a level was okay? Like seriously, what made them think that was okay? That, that is not okay. <laughs> that is not okay at all, dude.
keep in mind, there's the there's the possibility that you know I, I could fuck up too. There's the possibility that I could just fuck up, lose the run, and die. Like, the fact that can happen is also shitty. I mean, yes, you can get lives and shit. Or, like, you can get you can get health pickups. But, I mean, the point, my point still stands. <laughs> Maybe this won't be as bad as I thought. <laughs> Very possible. We'll see, though. I mean, as long as you just shoot all the mines, it should be okay. There goes my smart bomb. Would have loved to use that. Yeah, I think the mines still can drop, um... They still can drop health pickups. So as long as you're not too reckless, you shouldn't die, I think. I'm gonna be kind of safe scumming throughout, just in case, because I'm not replaying this level, like, a fifth time. At least I got all my health back, so we're good there. This would have been a good place for the smart bomb if I still had it. And the music loops after two minutes. Okay, I don't think it's two minutes. It's like a two minute, 40 minute second song. And after a certain point, I just think, I think, I think the like clocks just stop filling up all together. That's, that's really bad. I'm losing my rhythm. You gotta have to have a rhythm to these guys. You gotta, like, go left and right with them, you know? That. Give me that gun. I need this. It's gonna make this level so much better. <laughs> yeah, there's just like no clocks anymore. <laughs> they, they're gone. The clocks are straight up gone. Like, I, it's like I caught them all already or something. And there goes the- there it goes. It didn't even look like I got hit. Like, I didn't lose a, any health. Three more minutes of misery left, guys. This is just the walk of shame. <laughs> That's what we'll call it.
Alright, two more minutes of misery left. Maybe this is a get maybe this time trial is guaranteed or something. As long as you just shoot enough bombs. Because I haven't gotten any clocks in hours. <laughs> yeah, so much time, guys. Three hours to be a damn time trial. Yikes. Don't get don't get hit too much. I said don't get hit too much. We need we need to stay alive. Oh, I could have gotten some health there. Alright, one more minute of pain. Back at least. We're almost there. I think they just give the time trial to you if you, um, get all the clocks or something. <laughs> Is that it? Oh. Yeah, they just give it to you. Okay. I got a 659, which basically guaranteed I got the time trial. Well, that wasn't that bad, honestly. Hmm. That was actually pretty chill. Here I thought that was going to be like one of the worst time trials in the game. That was actually one of the easier ones, surprisingly. I can tell you what's not easy, though. This one. There comes the missiles. My <laughs> shark, I just dashed into him and he died. Dead, bro. No, oh, the fucking missiles. It's pretty much impossible to avoid those ones. Fuck's sake. I don't know how to dodge. I don't know how to dodge the eels there. Woo! Oh, get stuck on the wall, bro. Come on. Damn jellyfish. Alright, watch out for the impossible missiles coming up soon. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call them, the impossible missiles. And I dodged them this time, somehow. Our damage boosting for the win. Bullshit. 
Yeah, let's get this box here. That gives us an edge for sure. Bro, stop. Okay, at least we got an extra. At least we get some extra health here. And I just completely ignored that box. No. Why? Why, bro? Fucking mines. And I missed the fucking timer. We're so close, guys. We're so close. That damn eel every time. Fucking jellyfish that time. Why are the jellyfish screwing me over now all of a sudden? Somehow I didn't get the health either. Oh my god. You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. What? That didn't even touch me, bro. The fuck? I swear that's impossible to avoid. <laughs> At least while going fast. Stop, dude. Why are the fucking jellyfish screwing me over? Alright, fuck this. We might have to save scum it. <laughs> Jeez. What? <laughs> Seb's asking what I'm grinding. I'm grinding for them tokens, bro. Jellyfish is always in the way. And the fucking missile's in the way, really? Smelly ass level, bro. Okay, fine. I'll play it slow so I don't get hit by the damn eel. But then I get hit by that eel. So it doesn't frickin' matter. Why is that- why is that missile there? That's such bad design, bro. And I get hit immediately? <laughs> why? the impossible missiles. It's like the impossible quiz, but for missiles instead. Er 
Yep. Yeah, let's get this box over here. Or not, or we could just miss it completely. That's cool too. Missiles, get out of here. Alright, here's where I made it last time. Yeah, as long as you keep the string going, it's okay. I say string like it's a combo or something. I don't know if I got the timer or not. I did. <laughs> Skill issue. Alright, well that fucking level's done. One twenty five. One twenty eight. I like how my I like how I did better on shark attack. Just goes to show you that they're both like actually pretty short levels when you really think about it. Alright. Alright, well, here we go. Here's this stupid time trial for Magma Opus. This is like, like, like one of the last two time trials I have to do. So, let's see how this goes. Not what I meant to do. Very unoptimal so far. Suboptimal. Er I tell you what, if I die in the like the rolling segment again, I will probably save state when I get there. So I already had a pretty good run of the level already. Spooters. I think those spiders honestly get used the most out of any enemy in this game. Like, the spiders, they get used in the forest, they get used in here, and they get used in night crawling as well. Well, they also get to be in the spooky boss fight, but every enemy gets to be in the spooky boss fight. Because they're special. Okay, let's just get back here. I need to stop dying in this section, bro. Save scum all the way. <laughs> Cause I already did this level before. You kinda have to wait it out. By the way, I bought I bought some more cookies today. I bought um there's this brand called Collection, or something like that, and I bought these cookies, and they're butter biscuits, and they're cappuccino flavor. <laughs> now, usually, I'm not a big fan of coffee and chocolate mixed together, but every now and then, there's just a couple that I really like, and so far, this seems to be one of them. Like, coffee and chocolate is such a random-ass combination. But, yet it works so well. Oh, I missed the ghosts. There will soon be ghosts in your living room. I don't even, yeah, I don't even need to jump on that box. Oh, 
Watch out for the spooter. Fuck. Fine, I'll wait it out. I know you can make that cycle. That was that was me that was my bad. <laughs> I got too impatient. Alright, here we go. This is one of the reasons I never got I never did this time trial as a kid because of this these stupid slopes, bro. It's so specific. Make even one little fuck up. Time trial's over. <laughs> er, yep, let's see the time trial went over there. I think we're at the end though. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, fuck that level, honestly. <laughs> fuck that level in particular. I like how like there's so much of the level you don't even go to because of the fact that like Half of the level is optional. <laughs> so, because of that, it makes the time trial, like, really piss easy. Alright, guys. We have one more level in the game to do, which is Ghost by You. And I know this one's gonna be a, kind of a difficult one. <laughs> that was a really stupid snake noise. Alright, we don't need to we don't need to rush. Watch out for the funny tree. I know there's a way to skip parts of this level, but you have to have like really you have to be really like precise. And yeah, rev rolling here definitely helps speed things up a lot. I mean, this is the easy part, though. Like, the hard part is, like, navigating the damn maze. That's the hard part. <laughs> Gotta watch out for Mr. Bones. There he is, yes, he man. Oh god, this camera, man. <laughs> I hate when the camera does that. Out of you. Out of you. Out of you. Alright, here's the, the time attack bullshit. Kill some boners. All right, so we gotta figure out which way, which is the quickest way to get to that um that checkpoint. It might be over this way. I could be wrong though. 
Dude, there's the ghost that got stuck last time. I'm not sure, honestly. We gotta figure it out. Cause we don't have too much time. There's no time to waste. That's right, we're gonna cheat. Then there's no time to waste. T At least this part's chill. You just get a leisurely stroll while the timer is indefinitely frozen. I think I went the wrong way again, bro. This does not seem like the way to the goal. Well, that's kind of shitty, but all right. Hopefully we can go the right way this time. Because if I remember correctly, the timer said you, 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 you have like six minutes to beat this level, which is pretty chill. I'm a funny ghost. He just wanted, he wanted, uh... He wanted, he wants a friend, you know? He's kind of lonely. Is this the way to the checkpoint? Mmm... I don't know. <laughs> one of these ways takes you to the checkpoint, and one of them doesn't. If I can just find that checkpoint... Um, I'll know I'm going the right way. I know where I need to go. Can I jump over here? Is this where I need to be? Wait, 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 this is it, this is it. This is where I need to be right now. This is the way to the goal. This takes you to the egg end of the level. I think this- I think I just get a time trial like that. I don't know how- They really expect you to take the long way and all that. My tree! <laughs> Alright. New record. It's like the easiest new record ever. I did it. I finally 100%ed Pac-Man World 2, guys. I did it. 189 tokens. So, do you guys want to know what your reward is for getting 189 tokens? You actually do get something. You do get something for getting all the tokens. Your reward is the ability to play Miss Pac-Man. Yep, that is your that is your um reward. Yes, I'm not kidding. That is what you get. You get to play Miss Pac-Man. And it looks a little glitchy. <laughs> that, that is literally it. Fuck. So yeah, that, that's it's kind of a... Here's the thing, though. This is kind of crazy to me because I have never actually done this before. So this is my first time playing Miss Pac-Man. I mean, what's so special about Miss Pac-Man? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's so special about Miss Pac-Man. What's so special about playing as a female version of Pac-Man? There's not much. I think the most special thing about it is that Miss Pac-Man doesn't exist anymore because of the legal, uh, the legal, like, bullshit she's going through right now. She's going, she's going through a lot of BS right now, you know, because there's something about the people who made Miss Pac-Man own her or something, and they're not allowing Namco to use her or whatever, so they have to get around it by making up a kind of half Miss Pac-Man. I don't know, it's weird. Also, I didn't die there somehow. Give me that fruit. That fruit. 
You know, I'm kind of glad they're using, like, the more updated design and not the weird, creepy, like, American design they had for her. Because, um... Man, I never realized how much of this music they used in uh, Pac-Man World 1. That's the weird thing about Pac-Man World 1, is half of the game's soundtrack is made up of, like, late motifs from this game and the original Pac-Man World. Mostly Miss Pac-Man, though. It's more Miss Pac-Man than actual Pac-Man, which is really odd. <laughs> I mean, maybe it has to do with the fact that, uh, you know, Pac-Man has to save his family or whatever. You know, I do kind of like that plot point. Oops. Honestly, I think the thing I like about Pac-Man World 1 the most, though, is just how imposing Pac-Man is. Like, he's just this kind of creepy pasta-ass, freaky big Pac-Man, evil Pac-Man. And I died again. And that's Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> it's not worth it. It is not- it, I don't know if it- I mean, it's cool. It's cool being able to play it. But, that's about it, really. I mean, you get to play Pac-Man, Pac-Mania, the best one, by the way. Pac-Attack, the arcade games, and that's about it. And the jukebox. Don't forget about the jukebox. And that's it. That, that's your 100% reward, is getting to play Miss Pac-Man. Not sure why they locked Miss Pac-Man behind 180, but I guess it's cool enough. There's one more thing I can show off, and I have no idea if it works or not, but we're going to, um, we're going to look for it, okay? So, let me see. So, according to the cutting room floor, there are hidden cheat codes, and I have no idea if they work, but apparently, if you press R, L, R, Z, you're supposed to be able to get stuff. You're supposed to be able to get lives, for example. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it works, though. <laughs> it's supposed to give you, like, 20 lives and stuff. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's working, though. Yeah. Maybe you have to reload the map or something, I don't know. I don't know if these cheat codes actually work. <laughs> or maybe it's this platform right here? Oh! Apparently if you stand, um, where is it? You have to stand on, like, the very edge, apparently. Supposedly. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't think this actually does it. I don't think this actually works. <laughs> I'm, pre I'm pressing the buttons. It's supposed to- it's, it's- it's apparently hidden, though. I don't know if these are actually in the game still. They don't seem to be, though. But it's supposed to give you, um, lives, tokens, and other things. It doesn't seem to do anything. Well, apparently if you stand in one of the corners, it, it can give you extra lives. Nah, I think this is fake. I think this is like... You have to activate it or something somewhere in the game.
Yeah, it's not doing anything. Look at, all the, look at this camera control that I never use, though. <laughs> hmm. That is very strange, though. <laughs> but apparently, apparently this platform does have a use. It was able to give the designers, like extra lives or something, apparently. So, I don't know. I don't think it works, though. Or maybe it only works when you begin a new game or something. So, yeah, that's that's Pac-Man World 100%. Um, how do you, like... There you go, exit the game. I'm gonna start up a new game. I'm gonna see if it does anything. <laughs> Yeah, 100% save file. It took me seven hours. It really doesn't feel like it's taken that long. But, man, I guess that's Pac-Man World 2 for you. We are 100% this game. Glad we finally did it. Ugh. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Do any of the cheat codes work? There's ZRZR. Yeah, they don't seem to be doing anything. Or maybe it's a different platform. There's a, maybe there's another platform that looks like that one. It just says there's a platform to the upper right. That's the only one I see that looks like that, though. Yeah, I don't see any other platforms quite like that one. Oh well. I don't know why it says upper right. <laughs> Like, is, is that really upper right? Well, if... If it says so, then I guess I'll have to believe it. <laughs> I don't see it anywhere else. But yeah, that's a... Uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that I finally 100%ed... Like, the, one of the first video games I've ever played. Finally, after, what, 20 years? <laughs> Actually, 22 years, I think. It's been a long time. I'm just glad we finally have it done. Yeah, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem like it works. It doesn't matter for how long you hold them or what. And apparently all the versions of the game support this cheat, but... I have no idea. Yeah, if you guys want, there's like, um, there's, uh, like a bunch of information on this game on the cutting room floor. So, yeah. And he sent me a happy Pyra. Hooray. Zappy's in his Pyra phase again, I see. <laughs> Alright, well, well. Well, how about we just do, like, we'll just do a zoom out of the map. Hang on. What's the, where's the best place we can do it? Like, here, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do a she says, and we'll, we'll do a zoom out of the map. So, yeah. But, uh, I'll have to think about what I want my next series to be. Because, personally, I'm not really sure. I am glad I got to do a nice, short... Um, series for a change. I mean, Ninja Gaiden Sigma is also pretty short. But... I just really enjoyed uh, revisiting this game properly. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the fog so you guys can see the map better. There you go. 
This game uses fog a surprising amount, though. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Tomodachi life will continue still. You know, that's not going anywhere. Oh, and we made it outside the skybox, apparently. Wow. Who would have guessed there's just a green void outside the game? Well... There's your, there's your Sky Dome. Games love, games love a good Sky Dome, I'll say. Alright, bye Pac-Man World 2, it was nice knowing you. And now we're just stuck in this green void, forever and ever. I don't think it ever ends. I think we're just stuck in this green void forever. <laughs> And if you ever somehow manage to go outside the Sky Dome, there's a bunch of green waiting for you. So yeah, that's that. Alright, well, I'll have to think about what I want my next series. <laughs> to, uh, I'll have to think about my, what I want my next series to be, because I'm not sure yet. 100% <laughs> green void completion. Yep. That's your completion reward, is the green void. Um, I could do, like, another Mario RPG hack, because I've been kind of in the mood for that. Toho 10? Well, I'm just gonna skip over Toho 9, apparently, now. I, I'm gonna do Toho 9 in, like, the fall, I'm thinking, because I kind of want to take a bit of... I, need, I still need a bit of time for my next Toho game, because I'm not ready to take on another game. Because we played, we played so much Toho recently, I'm kind of toho it out. Yeah. Cause I started a- I did Toho 7 in September, and I'm thinking I'm gonna do Toho 9 in, like, November, probably. Is what I'm thinking. Well, actually, no, cause... Mario & Luigi Brothership comes out during that time, so I might do it in September, I don't know. And Pac-Man, he's falling asleep. He's getting bored of this shit. See if Pac-Man wants to go. <laughs> I'll see, though. I'm kind of in the mood for a Mario RPG again, though. I kind of want to do Mario RPG Master Quest, which is a uh, another Mario RP like another tough Mario RPG ROM hack that I was kind of thinking about trying out. I'll have to see if I can get it running though. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! I know what game I want to play. I want to play a uh, Puyo Puyo Four because I got that game running, and um. I, I could have talked about it during this stream, but I was so focused on 100%ing it that I completely forgot. I was messing around with a Dreamcast emulator last night, and I got Puyo Puyo 4 to run on it, with an English patch, mind you, because that game's normally Japanese only, but I got an English patch that works. And I'm gonna play that, actually, next week. After I've had enough of, like, Tomodachi life over the weekend, because, you know, the weekend's gonna be busy. Or I might play it tomorrow morning, we'll see. I don't know. But anyways, guys. Thanks for watching Pac-Man World 2. Make sure to like and subscribe to you know, YouTube and Twitch. And um, later tonight, speaking of Poyo Poyo, me and Dominic are gonna play Poyo Poyo Fever. So, I'll see you guys then. So, take care.